Good day, students. Uh, in this group, we're going to be going over um, uh, trigonometric proofs. Uh, we're going to show that this identity is true. We're going to prove that uh, cosine 3x is equal to 4 cosine to the third x minus 3 cosine x. Okay? All right. So before we get started, uh, we're going to take a look at some key identities that I'll be making use of in this, in this proof. Uh, so let's title this identities. Identities to know. All right. It's good to know all your identities, but these are the key ones that uh, we need to have fresh in our minds in order to to complete this proof. All right. So the first one, uh, first identity that we need to know. All right. So the first one is um, the uh, some identities for sine. So I mean for cosine. So we know that uh, cosine. Cosine alpha plus beta equals uh, cosine alpha, cosine beta minus sine alpha, sine beta. Okay, um, this is the uh, sum identities for cosine. All right, another identity you need to know is a, a version of the double angle identity for cosine. Um, so cosine two x is equal to 2 cosine square x minus 1. There are two other variations of the double angle identity, 1 minus 2 sine square x and cosine square x minus uh, sine square x, but this is the one we're going to be using. Um, this is uh, known as the uh, double angle identity, okay? Double angle identity. All right, and uh, we also need to know uh, the a uh, version, a variation of the Pythagorean identity solved for sine square x, uh, which is sine square x equals one minus uh, cosine square x. You know, you know that cosine square x plus sine square x equals one, right? So if I subtract sine square uh, cosine square x from both sides, I'll end up with this variation of the Pythagorean identity. All right. So let's name it Pythagorean identity. Okay, now um, so let's go ahead and uh, and do the proof. So we're going to start with um, cosine three x. Remember, the goal is I want to show that cosine three x is equal to four cosine to the third x um, minus three cosine x. So uh, starting with cosine three x, I can break down this argument of cosine into cosine two x plus x. Okay? Alright, now I'm going to make use of um, the sum identities for cosine. Note that this first term is alpha and this is beta. Okay? Alright, so applying the formula above here, I'm going to, I can rewrite this as cosine alpha is going to be cosine 2x, cosine beta will be cosine x, minus sine alpha will be sine 2x, uh, sine beta will be sine x. Okay, I'm going to put one here because I just made use of the sum identities. All right, now um, let's shift our attention to cosine two x. You notice that I have this double angle here, cosine two x. So guess what? I'm going to make use of uh, formula two, which is a double angle identity. I'm going to use that to break this down. Okay. So I'm going to replace cosine 2x with cosine, oh snap, I want to replace it with, uh, let's see, 2 cosine square x, 2 cosine square x minus 1, okay, and then um, this cosine comes down, cosine x minus sine 2x, um, and the uh, minus sine 2x sine x. All right, another identity I'm going to use uh, is the double angle identity for sine. I didn't indicate that, so let me let me put it up here. Should have stated that earlier. The double angle identity for sine sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. Okay, I need to use that to break this down or else I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, so 
I just used the formula number two, which is a double angle identity. Now to break this sine 2x component down, I'm going to have to use formula number four, which is also a double angle identity for sine. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So now, um, well, I could just distribute this piece on the left side where I'm, while I'm at it. So distributing this cosine x to these two terms, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have two cosine to the third x minus cosine x minus, now applying the double angle identities for sine, I'm going to have uh, two sine x cosine x, sine x, okay? All right, that's more like it. All right, so now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, uh, let's, we can combine these uh, two together and write it as uh, sine square x, and then I can factor out cosine from, from the last two terms, all right? So let me just show you the steps so you don't get confused. Two cosine to the third x minus cosine x minus, 2 sine x times sine x is sine square x cosine x. Okay? Alright, now what I'm going to do is factor out the cosine, actually minus cosine from both of them. So bring down the first term to cosine to the third x. If I take out minus cosine x, I'll be left with 1. And if you factor out minus from a minus, that's a plus. Plus 2 uh, sine square x, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make use of the Pythagorean identity that we made mention of uh, number three to basically break down this, I wanna replace this sine square x with a cosine function, okay? Remember our goal is four cosine to the third x minus three cosine x, zero cosine, so this, this sign has to go. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go, we're gonna do, uh, this equals two cosine to the third x minus cosine x times one plus two. And I'm gonna replace sine square x using the Pythagorean identity, one minus cosine square x times one minus cosine square x like that. All right. So next, I'm going to distribute these two, for these two terms. Simplify the, uh, I'm going to simplify the, this print, the quantity inside this parenthesis first, and then we'll, we'll go on from there, okay? So this is going to become two cosine to the third x minus cosine x times uh, one plus two minus two cosine square x. Okay, see that? Now uh, I'll just combine the one and the two. So we're gonna have two cosine to the third x minus cosine x times one plus two is three minus uh, two cosine square x. Okay, now lastly, we're going to go ahead and distribute uh, negative cosine x to these two terms in this parenthesis, this constant and this cosine square term. So that yields, let's bring this down, 2 cosine to the third x minus 3 cosine x. And then remember, minus times a minus is a plus, right? Plus 2 cosine to the third x. Now you notice that these two cubic cosine functions are similar, so we can combine them together. So we'll have four cosine to the third x minus three cosine x. So this is exactly what we wanted to prove, that cosine three x is in fact four cosine to the third x minus uh, cosine x, all right? So there goes, there goes your final answer. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. 
and you can go ahead and click like if you liked uh, this clip. Uh, please, please, please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on mapgoodserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.